Hi, this is my lithium-ion phosphate pack and in one video a few months ago I showed you that this pack does not have any active balancing on it, right? It's a 300 amp hour pack, so 16 strings, 300 uh, amp hours. And the only thing I have here is my cheapo BMS. So the purpose of this BMS is really only to watch limits and shut down the operation if there's something going out of limit. The rest is all done by the controller. And about eight months ago, when I cycled this back the first time, these are used cells, I told you I know exactly which string is behaving what way. And I told you that this string here, these three cells are the first up when during the charging, when the charging is finished and this one would be the first down uh, after this charging. So this worked now eight months, everything normally, I could not see uh, any abnormal behavior. It was always the same order, the strings behaved. And But the last uh, few days I noticed somehow that at the end of the day, uh, the charging session was kind of finished abruptly. So that for me was a sign, one of the strings is kind of uh, running already a little bit ahead during charging and is then coming into the final steep spike of the charging curve of lithium ion phosphate and then more or less the voltage will run away a little bit to the up and force the controller to stop. The only thing I am using is in that case then the multimeter and I measured all the uh, strings and all of the cells have shown perfectly a voltage of around 3.34 volts and the, and the first one, this one, which is always the first one that one was in this case already uh, 3.5 for me this is uh, the sign that something has to be done. It does not mean that if you do not use an active balancer, that you don't balance at all. You just have to monitor your pack and then if there is something to do, then you have to of course uh, take some action. And what kind of action I'm taking? Well, I have one spare cell here. And I just connected that to that problematic string, so which is ahead of the other ones. So I'm actually bleeding off power from there. So it's like active balancing. So 3.4 amps. I'm pulling away of that string into the other battery. The other battery was around 50% state of charge. And so now that string is a 400 amp hour string and those three cells will give energy to the other one. This will now uh, help me to equalize the cells and when that is done all of these strings will be again uh, nicely in balance. This is what I mean stay in the loop. You know your baby which you have created if there is actions which have to be done sometimes, then you just do it. It's not that you have to do it every few days. As I told you, this pack is now charging for more than actually eight months. And this is the first time that I have uh, to do something here. And it will maybe just be around 30 minutes that this uh, extra cell will be connected. Okay, so thank you for watching. Now you know how balancing is done at my place here and it's absolutely okay if you use some extra electronic to do this automatically but it can be also done with this, you don't need to spend extra money if you don't want. It just takes a little bit of extra care and everything is done. So thank you for watching this video, please like, comment, subscribe, i see you next time.